outside. Check out that view. Anyway, uh, this is a little quick clip that I like to do. Uh, just little tips and tricks and things that I come across that I want to share with you guys. So uh, this is a Goodman heat pump and I'm going to show you how to test the uh, defrost cycle. So uh, but basically a defrost cycle is when it gets too cold and this thing starts to freeze up, it will switch back into cool mode, the condenser fan motor will shut off, it'll heat up, reset a thermostat and that's usually right around there, and then go back into heat mode. So first thing, first call for heat. So we're going to call for heat, it's call for heat, and I'm going to show you what to do next. Okay, so this is the defrost board. So you see that R and the DFT? That's the defrost thermostat, which are these two wires here. Now this is a normally open switch. When it gets below 40 degrees, depending on manufacturer, it will close. So it is definitely below 40 degrees today. Um, so if we check this out with the continuity, it's probably already tripped. So yeah, we got continuity, so this is tripped. Okay, but now if it's not tripped, uh, this is what you're gonna do. So you're gonna unplug it. And you see those two spades, uh, R and the DFT? You're gonna take some jumper wires and you're gonna jump it out. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so we got it jumpered out. Now this thing is not gonna go into defrost uh, because you have this here. So what it's gonna do is, this one right now is set for every 30 minutes. So every 30 minutes it's gonna see if this is closed. So after, if, if I left that on there for 30 minutes, it would check and it would detect that it's closed and it would go into defrost. Okay, and you can change it. It's gonna be uh, 30, 60, or 90 for the Goodman. Some of them will go all the way up to 120. So that way it's not constantly going to defrost because as you could see, my defrost thermostat was already tripped. So that means it would be going in defrost all the time because it's, uh, it's about 37 degrees out here right now. So anyway, what we wanna do is we wanna test it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, make sure that our switch is closed. So I'm jumping it. So I'm simulating a closed defrost thermostat, okay? I'm gonna put it on test. And when it goes into test mode, we're gonna unplug it real quick. It should stay. Okay, so now that it went into test mode, we unplugged it, put it back to its setting, and now it's in defrost mode. As you can see, the condenser fan motor shut off and the reversing valve tripped, so now it's in cooling mode, and this coil's starting to get warm. So if there were ice on here, it would go ahead and uh, melt it off. But this is how you test it to make sure it's functional. If for some reason it doesn't work, then that means this board's bad, okay? So, uh, but yeah, 30 minutes is usually a good idea in uh, you know, cold temperatures. If you're in California or something, maybe like 60 minutes. Uh, but you notice in California, if you saw some of my previous videos when I was working on heat pumps in California, most of the time these things are bypassed because it doesn't get cold, it doesn't actually freeze. Um, but it, it got cold like I think last winter, so a bunch of heat pumps were actually going into um, were actually going into defrost. So what happens when it goes defrost? This out here happens, and then you have a connection. Uh, where is it at? Well, there's a W, yeah, this white connection, this white wire, it leads back to the air handler, which has electric strips. And so while it's doing this, instead of blowing cold air on you, it's gonna run the heat strips as auxiliary heat. In California, they don't allow heat strips. So you basically just get a blast of cold air. So we were getting a bunch of service calls, like, hey, my heater's blowing cold air, and then it starts heating again. It's like, yeah, that's normal, buddy. It's because it wasn't cold enough to trip the, uh, the, uh, the defrost sensor. So anyway, this is gonna run for about 10 minutes or until the uh, sensor is reset. So we're gonna pull that off and there we go. See, so we're back into heat mode. And that's pretty much how you test the defrost. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Uh, hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And this is our very first uh, quick clip. So hope you like it. Bye.